All right, guys, welcome to Mason Merck Metal Detecting. Uh, today, I'm at another uh, old, old farm. I think this one dates back to the 1700s, and that uh, other farm that Mason and I found the um, Vermont State Copper is actually uh, a couple hundred yards through the woods over there. Uh, again, not going to show the whole property. You can see there's some old uh, outbuildings for the farm there, like a hayloft. Behind me, I'm not going to show all the property because uh, we want to keep the uh, property owner's uh, identity and location uh, secret. But uh, just doing a little test sample here today uh, to see if this one's going to pan out, be a good spot to bring Mason. And I'm just digging a few holes here and there. Uh, you know, not not pounding it too hard, but it's it's 50 acres. It'd be pretty hard for me to dig everything anyway but uh let me just show you guys what we got so far i got a whole pocket full of trash I haven't really dug anything too exciting there's bullets everywhere in the field uh but i'll show you what we just got so this is smushed but that's an old uh shaft tip off a horse buggy horse drawn buggy or it could be the yeah i don't think it's the buggy brake i think it's the shaft tip and it, it's uh the horse probably stomped on it after it fell off that's uh, one cool find. And then what I just dug up that was screaming on the Equinox is a coin. It's actually not a coin, it's a token. And it is a New Hampshire State Highway token, which they don't use anymore. You can see right there, there's the old man in the mountain. Pretty cool. Uh, that's actually the second one of those we've dug metal detecting. Oh yeah, you can see, I forgot my head, my uh, turkey feather I found out in the field there. But uh... Yeah, that's the second highway token we've done, uh, dug, metal detecting. So maybe I'll see if the property owners don't have any of those from back when they used to use them. Maybe they'll want this one. But uh, all right, guys, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you on out of the hole. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I don't have any find to show you, but uh, before I started metal detecting today, the property owner took me on a ride in the side by side through the property and just showing me like where his property lines are, where to go, where not to go. Uh, you know, some of the historic spots. So in the 1960s, a uh, United States Air Force plane crashed on his property. I think he said he was like two years old at the time, but he remembers it. So he. Uh, took me out to where the plane crash was and there was two seasonal cabins at the time out here. Nobody was in them, but they burnt to the ground after the plane crash. And uh, I'm at the site where those cabins were. Let me give you guys a look at what we're dealing with here. So these are some old uh, stove remnants here. Beautiful old cast iron stove. Here's the uh, brick chimney. So I think these cabins are side by side because there's a chimney. I mean, it could all be, it might all be the same chimney, actually. I don't know. It said there was two cabins. There's a brick chimney there. Brick chimney here. There's more stove parts. I think it's a different stove than that one. So maybe they were side by side. But uh, there's the old chimney. And uh, looks like there's some railroad ties right here. Maybe they built a cabin out of some old railroad ties. Definitely looks like a railroad tie plate. To hold the train rail to the ties was on there so again not sure if they built a cabin out of old railroad ties or not uh, looks like we got some old remnants of uh beds oh yeah it's in the ground pretty good so you can see so again U.S. Air Force plane crashed out here in the 60s and burnt these two cabins down. I already found some parts of the plane. I'll show you guys in a minute. I'm gonna, it's too hot out here today. I had to move out of the fields and in here just to check this area out, but there's, there's metal everywhere from the plane crash. I'm gonna uh, pick up a few of the pieces of plane and they got a little memorial out by a tree by where I parked that they uh, add plane parts to as they find them with a little American flag and stuff. I'll show you guys that on the way out. All right, well, uh, once they hay the fields and stuff, we'll bring Mason back here. It's going to be a pretty good spot. I'll show you guys too in the wrap up what we found. All right, guys. So we are like a hundred feet away from those uh, cabins that burnt down when the plane crashed. I'm just going to show you guys what what you. I just want to show you what what I'm looking at here. So I'm right in the the path, and uh, 
Watch what happens when you move the metal detector down. So those are all, there's, I mean, there's metal everywhere right here. So I'm pretty sure, just like the promo owner said, uh, property owner, this is this is right where the plane crashed. And obviously the burning and all the fuel and everything caught those cabins on fire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a second, but I'm gonna dig this up and we'll see what we got here. All right, I'll turn you back on once I dig it up. All right, guys, I dug a, so there's, there's I mean, there's just targets everywhere. You saw the metal detector just ringing off and high, high tones everywhere. Not really sure what type of metal it is, but I don't know what they were making aircrafts out of in the uh, 1960s, but I went ahead and dug up a few targets. I got them in a little pile here. I'll show you what we got. So we got one here. One here. One here. And this stuff is just scattered everywhere through the woods, but I mean, take a look at that. Does that... Looks like a plane part to me. You got the old rivets. I mean, some of this stuff even looks like it might even be a little burnt. So we got one, two, three pieces of what I believe to be plane parts. Jumpy numbers, high tones. Probably, uh, I'm guessing that is part of the plane. So uh, again, I'm not gonna spend too much time here. It is uh, super hot out today. I was just doing a little sample piece. Uh, the fields are all overgrown, so I couldn't detect in there. So I figured I'd scoot in the woods and see what we got out here with the planes crashes and with those cabins. There wasn't much in the ground at the uh, cabins. And they were vacant when the time the uh, plane crashed and burnt into the ground. But I'm gonna gather up my plane parts here. I'm gonna go uh, take a walk back to the truck. We'll uh, show you guys a little memorial they have out here for the for the uh, four, four uh, Air Force members that died on board of that crash in the 60s. All right, be right back. All right, guys, we're back with the uh, the tailgate wrap up here. Uh, I'll show you. So this is all the stuff I found out in the field. Uh, I didn't film, I don't think, any of it, but I got a, another horseshoe. Uh, one of these things, which I actually dug at the other farm that's through the woods from this one. Old bolt, old spike, uh, all the miscellaneous trash. Uh, we got a pile of bullets we dug out of the field. We have that. Uh, New Hampshire highway token that we dug up near the barn. Um, I dug this file and this door hinge. Those were uh, by the cabins that burnt down. These are all the miscellaneous pieces of uh, plane that I believe I dug. This would have been some type of like fuel line or something. It's got some weird corrosion in it just like this piece does. Uh, all these little parts with rivets in them and stuff. Pretty much every one of these things has uh, rivets in it so you can uh, again I'm gonna assume that they are plane parts because you know planes are covered with little rivets and stuff everywhere but again that's all the miscellaneous plane pieces and then our finds of the day which I don't think I, I, I don't think I filmed it but I got a, a broken reins guide uh, shaft or buggy tip another plane bridle rosette I believe uh, this miscellaneous smashed up piece of jewelry that's pretty neat. Uh, again, it's kind of destroyed, but it's neat. So you can see there's still, uh, still an active airport where that Air Force base used to be. Planes flying overhead all day. That'll, uh, Mason will get a kick out of that when we finally when they hate the field, we get back here to metal detect the fields. We're just going to have planes flying overhead all day, which is pretty cool. But uh, again, I'm going to take all these plane parts and I'll show you their little memorial that they have out here for that. The four guys. This is all poison ivy, by the way. In case you guys are wondering what poison ivy looks like in New Hampshire. Leaves of three, leave it be. But I'm going to walk through it because i got to add this stuff to the, the memorial. So they just got, you know, miscellaneous pieces of metal that they've found on the ground over the years they just keep adding it here they've got an american flag out there some smaller american flags but we're going to add our pieces here looks like they got some type of fuel line looks kind of newer but we'll add our parts of the plane what do they got here u.s veteran that's pretty cool so they put a little u.s veteran 
medallion out here with an American flag. And we are going to add all of our pieces. And those guys aren't buried here, obviously. Their, their bodies were retrieved after the crash and given a proper burial. Or the... Got the rest of it. Let's see. All right. There we go. All right. Rest in peace and thank you guys for your service and dedication to our country. All right. Again, I'll be back here once I hate the fields. I don't know if I'll. Mason will probably want to come out here and check this out too. He loves he loves this history stuff, especially military stuff. So. We'll be back here, I'm sure. All right, guys, we'll catch you at the next adventure. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, welcome to Mason Merck Metal Detecting. Got the truck all packed up, and we are about to head out to another, I think, uh, 16, 1700s farm field. And uh, the property still belongs to the original property owners, dating all the way back to the 1700s. So uh, we're, we're pretty, this isn't the same one we went to before. We found that Vermont copper. It's a completely different field straight through the woods from that one. So we're pretty uh, optimistic that we're going to find some good stuff today. And today we are going to do a friendly wager. I am going to bet this 1888 Indian head penny against Mason's, what do you got? 1902 Indian head penny. An 1888 Indian and a 1902. And you guys, the viewers, are going to decide today who finds the coolest object. So it doesn't have to be a coin, it can be a relic, it can be, it can be something modern. But we're gonna, we're gonna uh, go back once the video's posted, look in the comments, and we're gonna find out who you guys think got the coolest item today, and they're gonna win both Indians. You ready to do this, bud? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go pound some ground. All right, guys, we've been, uh, we've been digging lots of trash already. Nothing really too spectacular. I think Mason got one Lincoln Memorial penny, but I uh, just got our first like true relic of the day. And there it is. You see that? An old doorknob, which was ringing off super good. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's got an iron rod that would go through the door, but I'm not sure what the actual knob is made of, if it's brass or... It was ringing off copper, so it could be copper. All right, hopefully we'll turn it back on with something better. All right, we're here with Mason American. We got our second relic of the day. An old ox shoe. Put in that hole right there. Go get in that hole right there. Like, not even an inch down. Alright. And now, alright, we got Mason with a surface find. Hi. Little toad. Alright, back to digging. I got a good 40s. Ooh, I just dug a 1990 quarter that gave me about a heart attack. Alright, I just dug something cool. I can't move my hand because it has the uh, property owner's uh, name on it from way back in the day. But this is a really old dog tag. Pretty cool. It says rival dog food on the bottom. And the top says this dog belongs to and it has the property owner's name. That's pretty cool. What'd you dig, a bullet? Uh, yeah, it, I, I don't know. It's... Okay. That's all right. We can show all the bullets. Oh, it's right here. here. It's right here. It like is a bullet, but it like skimmed across something because it's like flattened. Cool. All right, guys. We are back with another relic. Mason's over there digging. Not going to show you because he's right in front of the house for the privacy of the property owners. But we have a very ornate spoon handle. Nice, beautiful design. All right. That's that's the type of stuff we're looking for. Nice old relics. All right, let's see what else we get. All right, I'm back. And I just dropped it in the hole, but I got a penny. I dropped it in the hole. Yeah, it's a memorial, but it's old. 1959. 1959 memorial, so we we're close but to being a weedy. If it ha it's one year off, but if it has an S, 1959 S mint marks are wicked rare. They're worth okay. like $1,000. Stick that in your little slot there. Chicken nugget money. But what do you have? What are those I things? I don't know what these things are, but they're cool. I have two of them now. Yeah, very interesting. And they do say something on them. They say it like, uh, uh, I don't know how it Drop one. It says, Eternit. 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 Eter I don't know how to pronounce it. I really yeah, the don't. the other one says it better. I don't know if I get all these gloves on. Nope. Do you want me to get it? Oh, yeah. Thing 
scream. All right, so this says, yeah, E-T-E-R-N-I-T, -E -E, turn it. And that was a F-16 that just flew over our heads. Pretty cool. I can see it in the clouds. It just drove straight, or flew straight through a cloud. All right, we are back, and I have an epic find. But first, let's check back with Mason. He's got a pile of those things he was digging before. I have seven of them. Most of them, whoops. Most of them are square, and then I have two like octagon ones. So those are the only ones with words. These ones? ones are just. Yeah, so the weak. other ones say you turn it on them. These ones don't say anything. They're square. If anybody has a clue what these things are, please let us know. But we might figure it out before this video airs. But those are pretty interesting. Okay. So the owner did not want the dog tag. Oh, cool. So we're going to keep that. Yeah, so we get to keep the dog tag. We showed it to the owner. He thought it was cool, but he did not need it back. But let's go show you my awesome find. Roach clip. That's insane. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ladies brooch clip. Brooch clip. Mm -hmm. Check that thing out. I'd say that's like early 1900s. Looks like right one, only one, two, two of the stones are missing. But that is beautiful. Probably not. All right. All right. I just popped the plug. And the number stayed good. It's a high 20s to almost 30. So usually those are good, especially when they're deep. He's just going to dig it out and see what he gets. Whoa. What do you got? That looks shiny. Hang on. Oh, baby. Coin. Merc. What? Merc. Merc. Back on the silver, you sure? Let me see. Oh yeah, baby. Where's the Merc dance? There's the Merc dance. Oh baby, Merc it. Nice, dude. Put it in your box. Sweet, hey. Back on the silver. I wanna find some more of those. All right, we were just about to fill the hole back in. We rescanned it, that's what they say. Always recheck your holes. And we don't have another Merc number, but we got a low. There's more. We'll just say that there's more. We got a low 20s. Well, if it's a penny, same time period, it's going to be a weedy. Could be an Indian. You never know what it's going to be. Oh, yeah, another coin. That looks green. Wheat. Weedy. Let's see what you. So the Merrick was a 41. Here, let me see this. Let me rescan that hole. Imagine. All right. So a little coin spill. One Mercury dime and a wheat penny. Got a year off that bad boy yet? 1930, 1930, I think. 1930, Weedy, we'll take that. Either 1939, 1938, or 1930. Sweet. Can't really see that last number on there. Yes, sir, we'll take it. All right, guys, the silver streak continues. What'd you get, buddy? And this is a first for us. We've been finding yep. tons of mercury dimes, but we finally got our first. Franklin Roosevelt Silver. 47. Oh, yeah, it's an oldie, too, like you said. 1947. Look at wow, this. That's a beauty. Look at this. Look how shiny it is. I know that hurt my eyes. Yeah. Look at that. We got two Wheaties. The dog tag, two Wheaties. Or, we didn't film that. That's Wheaties. Right. We, didn't, we don't need to film all the Wheaties. And I can't believe that. Two Silvers in one day. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll do some more. Okay, we're here. back. Mason's got a good find. What do you got, bud? Dug this thing out in two pieces. Old cap gun. And put it back together. I'm not sure what time period that's from. I don't think it's super old, but it's old. It's got plastic on it, so probably not. That yeah. Old, but I still plastic. Like it. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> and then I got this bracelet, oh, yeah, which is covered in metal. There's a bunch of little pieces in, in this plug still. Wow. They're everywhere right here. <laughs> but this is the bracelet. It's heavy. It's all metal. Feel how heavy that is. Oh, wow. Here, let's see if I can get all these out. You put it in your box. Alright, we'll turn you back on with something better. Alright, we are back with Mason Merck. Ooh, he's getting sweaty. What did we just find, bud? Yeah, our third. Ooh, it's a little smaller than the other ones. But our third Conestoga Bell, and that is beautiful that one is actually combat you can tell by how it's shining already man awesome find the top's broken but that's all right beautiful conestoga bow yeah we're right here with the thing would have been attached but that's cool that is what we're looking for after digging two screaming beer cans finally got that 
all right man let me show you it is hot check out all this ground we have to cover it's gonna take us a year to figure this place out and, a bone. and mason mark found a bone you can see it's cut it's probably a duff head dog <laughs> right in the plug there's uh there's old murky boy and he just dug a draft horse horseshoe that is a big one that's a big one probably the same horse that lost the conestoga bell all right all right guys whoo it is a hot one out and we're calling it quits Ooh, i think i'm burnt pretty bad but uh we're gonna do the mason Merck, uh tailgate wrap up here so you can see i think i dug a uh sign post there but you can see all of the junk we dug today that is a lot a lot of digging we dug a ton of holes so that's all your junk all right and for the decent finds we have a pile of chicken nugget money boy that almost looks like it's silver but i guess not pile of chicken nugget money we got our fired bullets a live round shotgun head stamp um more fired bullets probably can't hear me bullet shells we got this little doorknob we dug no idea what that thing is but it was ringing up super good we got the uh pretty ornate uh spoon handle here very beautiful we got the bracelet two ox shoes we did three find out oh, three ox shoes one draft horseshoe and uh, we did find out what these are one of the property owners was familiar with these things and he said they are from the old roofs the old slate roofs they were what they were what would hold the slate in place Mason dug a pretty cool cap gun. I just realized that's a horse. Right there. Nice. Oh, yeah. And Big draft horse. horseshoe. Draft horseshoe, cap gun. All right. And our finds of the day, we have a beautiful... Brooch clip. Brooch. Door hand... Or door... What do you... A, a drawer, drawer pull. Drawer pull. Broken. Three wheats. The... Um... Dog tag. A dog tag. Not a uh, person's dog tag, but from an actual dog old one we got a mercury dime a silver so roosevelt so. conestoga bell. bell made out of tom back and then this thing like, Mason, I, I just dug that like five just seconds ago pulled this out of the ground right at the end and it is fancy i have no clue what that is but it has like a clip so it would this thing you know would this be? thing would pinch and open up and this end would open up and clip on top you can see the little teeth it has you know what that might be what like one of those all right those like pins on a soldier maybe no i don't think so yeah, it wouldn't be that fancy like that true but uh all right those are our finds for today we did a lot of digging spent a lot of time out there and uh property owners were kind to us brought us some pizza some juice boxes they took really good care of us today and they uh, said we are welcome to come back anytime we want all right what do you want to say to our viewers make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you at the next adventure